Good evening to all of you gathered there in New York for the annual Children's Tumor Foundation Gala. I was there last year and wish I could be there with you this year, but the date happens to coincide with the annual leadership forum of all the institute directors at NIH, and I kind of need to be there for that. But I particularly wanted to send greetings because of somebody you are honoring this evening, uh, Dr. Margaret Wallace known to all of us as Peggy. And I wish I could be there to uh, applaud and uh, give a big hug to this very special leader in the field of neurofibromatosis research. And I have a certain amount of parental pride in her being recognized because she was a postdoc in my lab uh, back, well, a few years ago, almost 30. Uh, Peggy was one of the folks in the lab at that critical moment where we were chasing the gene for NF1. And that was before there was a genome project, and this was tough going, trying to figure out where in this large stretch of chromosome 17 this gene might be located. And her ingenuity had a lot to do with the success of that enterprise and the unveiling of the gene in July of 1990. If you look at this photograph, that's a picture of my group of researchers about a year after that, probably 1991. Yes, the arrow is pointing to Peggy. Others in that photograph include Doug Marchuk, uh, David Gutman, uh, not in the picture, uh, Jane Fountain, who by then had gone on to another training opportunity. Lona Anderson is there. Uh, all of these folks part of the NF1 team that worked tirelessly at a time where this was pretty tough going uh, to ultimately come up with the answer. And you can see three publications there as well. Maybe the one just to the left of the photograph being the one that really told the world the gene has been discovered, uh, that paper in Science with Peggy as the first author. Peggy devoted her entire career from that point on to the science of understanding the causes and ultimately ways to treat or even cure NF1. That has been her focus. And I'm delighted she's getting this recognition tonight uh, from CTF. Not only has she run an amazing research lab at the University of Florida and trained a lot of other graduate students and postdocs uh, on this topic, uh, she's also served very faithfully and tirelessly as the chair of the Research Advisory Board for CTF. And so she's helped in that regard to identify and make sure support was available to young investigators who have become part of the reason that the science of neurofibromatosis research is now going so well. So Peggy, I wish I was there uh, to cheer for you. I'm really proud of you. There's almost nothing that makes a senior scientist happier than to have one of his former trainees get recognized in this kind of way. So uh, my heart is full of congratulations and happiness for you. And I hope everybody there will give you a big shout out uh, for all the things you have done and will continue to do. You're not done yet. Uh, for producing new ideas uh, about neurofibromatosis and what we can do for this disorder. So thanks everybody for letting me say hello and congratulations to Peggy.